Okay, this next one, I'm looking for slope, midpoint, and distance. So I'm looking for the distance from four, for, I'm sorry, from two to six. So the distance from two to six is four, and the distance from four to one is three. So if I go from two to six, that's four, and from uh, four to one, that's three. So that means I, my slope, I think, is four thirds. I'm gonna graph my points though, just to see. Because if I go over to 1, 2, 3, 4, and up 1, 2, that's this point here. And then 1, 6, over 1, and up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is about right there. So I'm talking about this line here. And that slope, I can see once I have my line, my slope is actually a negative 4 thirds because that line is clearly slanted down. So that's one point of sketching your line is so you can tell for sure if it's a negative or positive on your slope. Now the next thing we're going to look at is we're also going to look at a, a y, I'm sorry, we're also going to look at a midpoint. Midpoint is literally the point in the middle. So if I was guesstimating or estimating the input midpoint, it would be somewhere about right there. So that looks about the middle of the segment, somewhere there. So to find the midpoint, I just find the middle x value and the middle y value. In this case, my middle x value is, has to be halfway between 4 and 1. So I can just average those by doing 4 plus 1, which is 5, divided by 2 is 5 halves, or 2.5. And then my a middle of my y value, what's halfway between 2 and 6, you might be able to say, hey, 4 is halfway between 2 and 6. But if not, you can always average them by doing 2 plus 6 is 8, divided by 2 is 4. Feel free though, if you can tell what's in the middle, there's no need to actually calculate the average because the average is just the point in the middle. So it does look like I drew something that was kind of close to that point. Definitely a Y value of four is where I were, was and an X value of maybe about, I had it probably a little closer to three, but you can see I kind of hit my line wasn't quite, probably a little bit above that point. So that's a reasonable estimate for my midpoint. So I think uh, that usually if you're off on these, you're gonna be off by a lot. So if you're in the right ballpark, you're probably good. Uh, for the last thing I can do is I can do the distance. Now the distance, what I can do is I can think of a right triangle that I would make by dropping down and over. And basically the same numbers I use for slope are gonna be the two sides of this right triangle because I've gone up four and over three. So my right triangle has a leg of four and it has a leg of three and I'm looking for the hypotenuse. So I can use my Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared, one of my legs squared, plus b squared equals c squared. So four squared is 16, three squared is nine, 16 plus nine is 25, so 25 equals c squared. Now remember, since you have a square, you might've done this before, to get rid of the square, you have to take the square root of both sides. So the square root of 25 would be five, so my final answer for my distance would be five. So I have a slope of negative four thirds, a midpoint of five halves four, and a distance of five.